What's up guys, Cup here, and today we are traveling through time to play the ghost of tomorrow. We get to find out what happened to a missing girl in, I believe, an apartment. Fingers crossed, we come out a winner. You know how these games go for us. Oh, good, why am I? <gasps> Ow! Oh, what's up, Jeeves? Ow! But before we get into the game, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. And yeah, let's go see if, you know, the ghost of today becomes an ass whooping tomorrow. I'm back in my apartment. I'm gonna check my phone before I go to sleep. Ooh, I like the look of you, game. Okay, let's go. Ooh, I look buff. Oh, I wish y'all would try me today. Select your opponent. Fight. Guys, we look buff. I wish, I wish y'all would. Yeah, nah, this is a different game. I'm a smooth eight foot tall. Look at me. I'm as tall, I'm as high as the light fixtures. Y'all don't want this with me. Now nah, I'm ready to fight everything. Let's go. Where you at? Announce yourself. Hulk smash. Oh, it's raining. Oh, this is, this is lovely. Okay. Shout out to, I, I don't know. I guess it's still, what, what's today's date? If you've already X'd out the 23rd, does that mean it's still the 24th? Y'all gonna yell at me about this. I'ma say that it's the 24th of August and, and shout out to my maybe Virgos. Oh. Well, I mean, bills are paid. I just think, you know, maybe we need a light bulb. Okay, let's go find one. All the other lights are on, so one can only assume. All right, there's my phone and my guitar. All right, come on. The hell was that? Now game. Hello? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming? Okay, so you're just gonna ask me on repeat. I guess we're Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. No, mom. I'm struggling with teenage angst. Young adult angst, you know? Cut my life into pieces. This is my... Plastic fork, what, hold on. Coming. Gail, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Don't y'all call that number. Let's go. I know y'all. It wasn't a five, five, five. Be good. What's that noise? That's not the rain. Okay, simmer down. Missing person? Mom? I should probably go towards the crying. That would be better. Ma? I'm not a crazy person. I hear to... This really ain't none of my business though. If she wants to mosh pit in her room, that's her business, y'all. I don't. Oh, that was different. Um. 
The clock's done tripping. Okay. You know, despite everything, I mean, we're huge, but outside of that, this is a, it's a pretty nice house. Close the door. Close the door. Hide in the shower. Now music. I thought it was over, and then you had the nerve to boot back up. Okay, I'm leaving. So the music was gonna keep going until I left the room? All right, I see how it is. Like whatever it is though, you want me to be in here. You do want me to be in here, I hate it here. Missing student body found, stabbed by roommate, alleged killer turned himself into the police. Police searched for Amanda's whereabouts for two weeks. Amanda's roommate, 25 year old Gail Rogers was arrested after confessing to hiding the body. But Body found in crawl space hidden behind a false wall inside closet of Mr. Rogers' room. Amy Holland, Amanda's close friend, informed Amanda and Gail were good friends. I was shocked when I heard the news. Um, I'm devastated. I, I, well, this is Amanda's mama. She's devastated. Um, I should have done something to avoid this. Now my baby's gone. Police found no previous conviction in Jub Jub Jubba. He's going to court. Ho! Oh! No! Then what you give me a flashlight for? What? Mm. I'm going to hide in the corner. Now y'all hear Huntress, right? Cause I do. Oh hell no. Nah. nah, you good. Nah, y'all got that. You gave me a flashlight for no reason. Look at this. Where's the flashlight? Go, go gadget flashlight. Nah, no, I'm not going in there. I'm going to sit in my room. Nope, yep, right, just like that. Just morph through the door. I'm gonna kick it right here until you do better. I'm not going in there. Would you give me a flashlight for if it doesn't work? I know what you guys are thinking. I know you're like, damn it, Cup, just go in there. But you don't, you don't, you don't know what I've been through. You, 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 you just don't understand what I'm going through. I'm not trying to get punched in the face. So if I go in here and I get hit upside the head, what do I get for this? You, you tell me. It better be something good. I'm going in. Well, now I'm just embarrassed. Color me embarrassed, all right, y'all? I thought something was gonna happen. And then, oh! Okay, I hate it here. I'm, <laughs> um, remember me different. That's all I ever ask. I'm going in. Huh? Oof, I don't. Is this the upper room? Oh, we done went into the upper room. And I ain't got no fate. Okay, uh. And look. Yeah, okay, keep going. I was gonna read, but the game said, nah, take this fear. Okay, I'll take the fear instead. Fear for 200 stew. How did this happen to me? I, I'm so buff.
Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in the pen. She pled guilty to murder. All the Jubba Jubbas. Man, Gail, you weren't real. Oh, fake friend. Gail was a hater. All right, shout out to my lefties, left door first. Okay, am I supposed to be finding the whimsical, magical door that takes me to freedom? <gasps> Jesse Pinkman. Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store, and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, a 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around, and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s, but bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed that woman into the store, and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. I just knew that was going to end with me getting punched in the back of the head. Okay. All right, y'all, I think this is our last door. Show me potato salad. What we got? Yo, we got quiet. Okay. I believe that was the last door. Man, y'all can have my stuff. I, 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 don't, I don't see this ending. Yep. This is my fate. With the arms wide open. Let's go on in. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I hate it here. The game said, you thought, I, I thought I could leave. All right, I'm back at home. Was it all just a nightmare? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines. Oh, it's nice in here. It's a big A's TV. What year is this? This ain't the 90s. 90s is home with the big booty TV. That's not a zenith. This is present day. This look like one of them houses that I would rob in Thief Simulator. I'm here for it. Yeah, this has to be present day. Nice place, though. Who made this sim build? Unless I'm not me. What if I'm the dude? Y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Oh, 
Amanda, that's you? I feel like I'm the dude now. Amanda, are, are you coming back with a vengeance? Because, I mean, if you are, I kind of have this coming, and, and I, I'm not angry. the hell the doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic it might help with the trauma how much more can I handle after losing my daughter to a murderer which itself is a horrible tragedy my husband has been very absent our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so I myself feel devastated too however I try to move forward in life with him and my son Dylan that definitely says Dylon of course the death of his sister has also affected Dylon gravely especially for a young 18 year old boy but at least i still feel he is around me unlike my husband he tries his hardest to still give emotional support um jubba 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 son is different now everything something just hits different all right so i'm mom's now i had feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction aside from being absent in our family's life now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol in the bottom of a bottle like smile empty soul Jubba, 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 he gets mad at me, barely talks, jubba, 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 he doesn't believe me when I say jubba, jubba, and jubba, jubba, all right. All right, so we got Dylon and the husband, and everybody's tripping. So today I found out that my son is doing the drugs, which are bad, okay. I think they... That Gale monster not only killed our daughter, but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family, and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. Jubba, jubba, jubba. One to channel my emotions into substance abuse. Try to keep my faith in God and find some peace within him. I'm only here trying to keep this family together, breaking apart. Dylon? Why do I have to be the responsible one? Cool picture. Why do I have to do this? Is that us? Cool closets. Cool house. That's all I'm saying. This is Amanda's room. I sometimes go to Amanda's room to try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. Um, I also heard footsteps, jubba jubba jubba, her spirit is following me. Yeah, but is it mad at me? I, I don't need this. Are we keeping it cool or are we just tripping? Spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and de uh, delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He's afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself, and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylon is barely around, and his drug addiction is taking a toll on him. Why can't y'all all move out together? Problem solving, right? Compromise. Stuck in the room. The story of my life. I saw that door close. I gotta find a way to get out. Okay. Oh my God, I'm really just stuck in the bathroom? We're really just stuck in the, just open the door. Oh, you're dead serious right now. Let's go. <laughs> let, let's. This is what I get for now. I didn't take the key seriously, and now I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay for it with my life. 
I thought they just meant get out the bathroom. This is my fault for not taking the game seriously. Why am I seeing red? Okay, hold on. That means I can open drawers. What's in, what are in these? A bibble. I don't know why I'm looking back. It sounds like it's behind me. Okay, hold on. I got a key. I got a key. A key, a key. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I can't see. Stop playing. Okay, her room? <gasps> oh, what did you, Amanda? I'm, I'm gonna leave though, all right? The house is yours. You win. Nah, once we start thrillering, man, you win. You, you can have everything. How much longer? Will it ever stop? Stop the man. Y'all, I think I done lost it. I, I don't think this is Amanda, y'all. I think mom's is tripping more than anyone else. She just doesn't see it. I honestly think I thought I was good. When it comes to find out, I'm the one tripping on some exorcist acting like Linda Blair. I'm convinced that's what happened. Don't quit playing. Well, this just don't make no sense. Hello? I can't believe it. It's been two years. I never thought I would speak to you again. Not after. After what? What do you mean after I died? What do you mean to be continued? What do you mean thank you for playing Ghost of Tomorrow? What do you mean the video's over and now you know I, we gotta do this in credit thing? I'm happy we didn't get hit upside the head today. So today was a win. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm trying to think of a really good word because we survived. You know, I could be on my Pearl Jam and be like, I'm still alive, but that was a lie because we obviously died and I'm not a rapper. You made it to the end of this week's game. Just say, Amanda. Poe Amanda. Amanda's never make it, right? In games, in movies, Poe Amanda. This game isn't over, which means we're gonna have to come back and, and see what part two of this game means. L let me know if you wanna do that. I'm here for it. Didn't hate this game, thought it was pretty cool. Let me know if we wanna run the next part of this game. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you.